This is Brenda Starr with Backstage 360 here in Anaheim on the tour bus for Rhapsody and Primal Fear and we're catching up with the singer for Trick or Treat. How you doing? Oh, fine. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm uh, Alessandro. Here we are. Very good. And you're all the way from Italy. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. So now, do you speak, you speak English, I hope, because I don't speak any Italian. Yeah, we try, we try. In English, uh, so we can change in Italian a little bit if you want. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I might be or be able to order a pizza, yeah. some linguine, maybe a beer. I can teach you something in Italian. Some, 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 some okay. Italian, if you want, yeah. Okay. Or order yeah. Pasta. And, uh, I need to know where the the bathroom is and okay. how to get a beer. Maybe not in that order, but. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So trick or treat, uh, new album coming out. It's at Rabbit Hills Part Two on Frontiers Record. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. coming out July eighth. Eighth. Yes, exactly. So part two. So this is a continuation. Yeah. Yes, exactly. It's uh, the, uh, the final parts of the concept uh, taken from the uh, Richard Adams novel Watership Down. Uh, the story is uh, for us. It's a beautiful story. They're talking about uh, adventures of rabbits that escape from. Uh, there are Warren uh, because they are under uh, human uh, beings control so they risk their life so escape it's a, it's a cool story it's different from usual concept heavy metal uh, fantasy uh, like Lord of the Rings uh, something like that uh, so we start to record the first part five years ago yeah? uh, at the beginning uh, we were supposed to record both parts uh, at the same time, but uh, so at the time we had uh, some problems. So in the end, it's cool because we had time to record the second part in the best way possible. Uh, we are a little bit late actually because I'm pretty busy with Rhapsody uh, touring, uh, blah blah blah. But now finally uh, we are ready for the part two. Yeah, we'll be cool. So you wrote it all at once, and then but it's just now. Uh, many years later, you're putting out the second part. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, it's uh, the first part uh, was from 2012. Okay, uh, but in the meantime, we change uh, one guitarist uh, that he left from the band. So, and we change the label. Now we are on the front. Is is big uh, the biggest uh, label in Italy actually uh, for the art rock uh, heavy stuff. It's one of the best in the world. So we are very happy and proud to be. Uh, to work with the guys of Frontiers, but uh, yes, yeah, so we uh, we uh, lose not lose, but we lost a little bit of time for a change uh, something inside uh, the the band under the market way. You know. Uh, yeah. so. Well, the novel itself, I mean, goes back way back to what year? What? The novel um, yeah. um, Watership Down. Yeah. Right, so it's based on a, a ch is it a children's book or not a children's book? Yeah, um, it's a children's book, but actually uh, it's also for the for the adults, no? uh, because it's pretty um, uh, violent. Violent, yeah. Uh, exists also a cartoon uh, of the. It came from the '78, I suppose. It's very old in totally Disney style. It's a beautiful cartoon, but it's very, it's full of violence and blood, so it's a big contrast. I remember that I, I watched that movie when I was uh, seven or eight years old and it shocked me totally because uh, it was beautiful. The stories are it's incredible, but there are a lot of stuff inside that. that uh, yeah, yeah. So it's a it's a children's animated, what yeah. was a book, and then they made an animated, cartoon movie. Yeah. And but they put with the blood and everything else, Absolutely. right? Made it brutal. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I heard that now uh, they uh, they realize a new version uh, of the cartoon uh, in the next year on Netflix, something like that. It's with a big budget, so maybe you have the soundtrack music for it, eh? Why not? Maybe it's thanks for us because we spread the story in the world. <laughs> who's who's putting it out? I don't know. I we need to look into that, yeah, right? We got a whole soundtrack. Maybe that. Maybe it's not late. Maybe it's just right on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends if they pay uh, enough money. They can do it. Or <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. So now the original story is it an Italian story, or where where 
does it originate? Yeah, uh, from England. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's uh, Richard Adams' uh, story. So yeah. it's in English. It's not uh, really famous at the end in, in Italy, but it's uh, it's a bestseller in England. Okay, awesome. So now the band Trick or Treat, you originally were a tribute to the band Halloween, yeah. right? We started in the 2002. 2002, yeah, I was young at the time. Um, yes, we started as a Halloween tribute because uh, everybody in the band loves Halloween. Uh, and uh, I started to sing uh, with Michael Kiska voice. Uh, who was a uh, sort of idol of, uh, for me. Uh, as every musician, when when starts to play an instrument, uh, have no, uh, re needs a uh, referment. And Michael Kiske was my own. <laughs> and we played a lot of shows in Italy because at the time, 2002, 2003, 2004, tribute band was everywhere in the, uh, in the venues. Uh, actually, Fortunately, actually, the, the, the scene is a little bit changed, and uh, the original music uh, now has more space. Uh, if you play, you have more chance to play in the venue. But at the time, it was pretty cool. Uh, but after three or four years, we were started to play just a cover. So it was cool. It was happy, and happy but we need to compose the, our uh, own material, our songs. And we start to record the, even East Candy 2 in the 2005. Uh, we realized in 2006, uh, uh, one year after. It was pretty cool because the kind of music was totally Halloween style. After album after album, we changed a little bit. Uh, I think now we have more personality inside the music, of course. But uh, at the time, uh, it was pretty cool. And after uh, in the 2009, we toured with Halloween as a support band in Europe. Europe, so uh, it was a sort of dream for us because uh, you mean. Uh, wow! So you, but you were doing originals, right? You did when you toured with them. You didn't do their material, or did you do a different album? Yeah, with our original uh, okay. material. Yeah, they okay. call us as a support because uh, they they know that uh, we love the, their music. So we toured with Halloween and Stratovarius and us as an opener. Very cool, very cool. So now, you, so you're the only singer in the band since the original, but you've had yeah. a lot of guest singers, yeah, a right? A yeah. lot of really cool people have, have sang Thank with you, you, including Michael Keyes, right? Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, the guest singers always uh, uh, a sort of uh, dream uh, for us, no? calling the, the people, the, the singers, that was uh, really important for our uh, music path, you know? Uh, we start uh, for the second album, Teen Soldiers, we called uh, Michael Kiske, it was an incredible dream for me and for the rest of the band, and Michele Luppi, that actually is the keyboard player of Whitesnake, so, uh, but he's a friend of us, uh, he came from Italy. And uh, for the Rabbit Seal Part 1, we called Andre Matos from Angrath, uh, another great singer. Uh, yeah, for the new album, uh, we have uh, Tim Reaper Owens. Uh, Sara Squadrani, that she is a, a great singer, incredible, beautiful singer from Italy. Uh, it's still not very known, but uh, will be famous, I'm pretty sure. And uh, we have Tony Kako from Sonata Artica. So, so. Yes, yes. Very familiar with Tim and Tony, but uh, could you tell the name again of the, f the female from Italy? Yeah, Sara Squadrani, she's the singer of Ancient Bards. Uh, it's an Italian band, uh, Rhapsody Styles, uh, a lot of uh, epic stuff inside, but uh, check it out because uh, good band, uh, incredible singer. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, Trick or Treat is a very tight band and very fun. I, I got to tell you, when I was, um, you know, because I just only recently heard of you guys, mm -hmm. um, and so I was researching and I came across a video of girls want to have fun and at first when I saw it I thought oh this must be a different trick-or-treat because yeah. these are guys from Italy yeah so but it wasn't this was actually you guys doing the Cindy Lauper song yeah. girls want to have fun what's yeah. up with that <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it was a little bit crazy you know but uh, we had a lot of fun at the time uh, it was uh, 2007 for uh, it was the, the video the first official video from the first album so we were a little bit young but uh, we still uh, 
you were drinking, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, just a little bit. Uh, no, no, we had a lot of fun because uh, we tried to replace the original videos in the looper. Uh -huh. uh, the video, the house that you can see in the videos, my uh, house. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Very good. So what's your drink of choice? Uh, no, just beer. Just uh, beer? Yeah. What kind of beer? Corona, it's pretty heavy, no? <laughs> Was that Corona? Corona. Corona, corona. corona. yeah. Yeah, very good. Why not? It's not my best choice. Just beer. You won't doesn't be picky? Matter. Well, it doesn't yeah. matter <laughs> which kind of beer. So just beer. Okay, okay. So, so something else that, uh, so, what, from my understanding, mm. Halloween and trick-or-treating is an American custom. This yeah. is not is, something yeah. that you do over there. Yeah, I got that from a very good source, Mr. King Diamond. Yeah. You know him? No, no, yeah, yeah, of course <laughs> I know King Diamond. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, you mean the, the trick or treat is, of course. The, the custom of going door to door, uh, yeah, yeah, with no, dressing not, up. It, actually, it's not usual in Europe. But uh, uh, year after year, uh, they start, uh, the child start to, to uh, bring knock on the door for. Uh, Yes, it's typical um, American uh, fest, uh, I suppose, but uh, everybody knows in Italy, of course. Uh, yeah, you heard of it. Well, you know, it's kind of strange if you think about it, right? Most parents, when you were young, did your parents say, don't take candy from strangers, right? Yeah, of course. But, but there's one day of the year that us Americans, we you tell can, our kids the because, same thing. Because uh, yes. you go to the home to ask them. Candy, so you knock on strangers' doors yeah, and yeah. you say trick or treat. So you give them an option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to trick you. Yeah, exa exactly. And at the same time, you have a, a good uh, publicity. You know, it's uh, during the Halloween. Everybody says trick or treat. So for us, it's cool because everybody uh, cool mm. our band. Yes, <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. So you ever try it? Yeah. Uh, trick or treat. Trick or treat. Yeah. yeah of course. Okay. Good. <laughs> What's your favorite candy? Um. It's, uh, I don't know if it exists uh, in, uh, in the U.S. It's a Haribo, it's licorice. You know. uh, licorice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Red or black? No, black, of course. Oh, oh right. okay. Oh, King Diamond likes that, too. Yeah, yeah. really? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, King Diamond. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. And I hope, really hope to come back in U.S. We took our street. We, we were here uh, in the 2007 for promote the first album in California. We uh, made... Uh, Ten shows, or something like that. It's not easy to manage, but we'll see. I uh, hope to to come here. To yeah. Play. Is the rest of the band up for coming on a tour to the U.S.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would like to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course, of course. Okay. So maybe we can make that happen. It's it's, it's yeah, you got a great album coming out. Thank you, thank you yes. so much. Uh, so, just you know, in case we make another interview uh, together. Uh, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So this time, bring the whole band. Well, I can't wait for everyone to hear the new album. It's going to be out on July 8th, Rabbit Hill Part 2. Rabbit Hills or Hill? Hills. Hills. No, hill, hill. Rabbit's Hill. One hill. Yeah, one right. hill, a uh, lot of rabbits. Yeah, it's <laughs> really got some great artwork on it, too. It's it's rabbits running up yeah. a hill. Excellent. I thought they run into their hole for no. safety. Ah, uh, yeah, after. Yeah, right? Before. <laughs> Before. But they're running for the hills. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, very good. Run so it, yeah, the, yeah, run to the hills, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. Do do, do the Iron Maiden cover next, Why right? <laughs> <not>? <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> but it's it's awesome. And then you know, I wanted to ask you the rabbit on that cover. He's he's got some like fire burning through yeah, him or something. What is it's, that? Uh, the, the meaning is is uh, it's called Ile, the black rabbit of death. It's the the death the, uh, because the rabbit has uh, the death and a sort of hero is um, that you can find the. Uh, cover of the first album it's called El Arayra it's, it's a sort of uh, Jesus Christ for a rabbit you know <laughs> something <laughs> like that but yeah it's the opposite life and that something like that yeah that's a great uh, every song on it is is Thank you. is okay. is fantastic I can't wait everybody to hear it I'm gonna do a album review on it it's okay. gonna get the highest rating I'm cool and to yeah and then I would love <laughs> to see it live so okay. we got to get you out on tour hope to yeah soon with it's not easy, but we try to uh, to promote the, the album in the U.S., of course. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So now, where can people, if they want to uh, keep up to date on what's happening with Trick or Treat, is there a website? Do you have a, a social media page? Yeah, of course, we have uh, the website. Uh, it's trickorstreetband.com. Uh, uh, we have also the Facebook page, uh, Instagram, uh, 
blah 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 whatever but uh, that's it you can follow us easily if you want if yes you want. and you're gonna want to you're gonna want to trick-or-treat yes very good all right well thank you so much for thank joining you, me uh, it was a big pleasure uh, thank you all for having uh, yeah see you soon very good. So this is Brenda Starr for Backstage 360 here on the bus saying bye-bye.